Hi guys, I'm back. Today we're going to be doing another painting video. Nothing new. I'm sorry if my background looks so messy, like over here. I'm in the middle of redecorating my study space. I'm gonna be posting a video about that later, so look forward to it. For today, I'm going to be painting in gouache, and at the same time, I'm going to be answering some questions from you guys because I don't know what to talk about anymore. I posted a Q&A sticker in my Instagram story, so if you want to ask me questions or want to interact with me, you can follow me there at John Arvalde Art. Follow me if you want to. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go paint something. <laughs> Okay, first question, what made you start painting? I have been painting for as long as I can remember. I always enjoyed it when teachers would let us color these coloring pages and stuff. I would always put extra effort because I'm extra that way. <laughs> I always wanted to make mine look pretty just because it was fun. Then from there I would start drawing a lot more at home when I don't have anything else to do. I remember my mom would even complain and scold me for using too much bond paper from drawing. Then my dad would teach me how to draw stuff like frogs, ants, and crocodiles. I remember that clearly. I remember that clearly for some reason because I think that was the first time that I felt accomplished and proud with my artwork. Then yeah, from there, people told me that I was good at drawing and that made me feel happy and accomplished and from there it became something that I wanted to improve on. It became a passion. I can say that one of the things that make me happiest is painting because I can express myself freely for the first time. I'm a really shy person so art also became a form of self-expression and a way to show others how I truly am as a person. I was able to express how I see the world through painting and that's how I really fell in love with art and started working on improving my skills in that field and I truly cannot imagine my life without art. Next question, where do you get inspiration to draw? Inspiration can be, can literally be found anywhere, you just need to know how to look. I like to take my inspiration from a lot of different artists. One of my favorite artists is Matthias Urbanoix, because he's really good at watercolors. And I found him when I was in elementary school. And he's the reason why I got into watercolors, actually. He's so good at painting normal, everyday landscapes, streets, and cityscapes. He makes them look so peaceful and pretty. Other artists include M. Niwa, Matthew Sorgi, Annabelle Gao, Tao Tao or Keko Creative on Instagram, Daisuke Igarashi is a mangaka, and <laughs> and the master storyteller himself, Hayao Miyazaki. I get a lot of inspiration from books, movies, music, music videos. I just expose myself to a lot of media to broaden my perspective and my taste in things. Yeah, so don't be afraid to explore and try out new things. It's worth it. Do you use references or simply draw from your imagination? I think art is basically a blend of both reference and imagination. I personally draw using both, depending on the type of artwork that I want to do as well. 
Like when I'm working on my sketchbook, I tend to rely more on using references because when I sketch, I don't want to think too much of about what to draw and conceptualize things right from here, from my brain. The goal for me when I sketch is to practice techniques and to force myself to make random drawings in order to get into the flow of creating something eventually. So I use a lot of references for that. I scroll through my Pinterest feed most of the time. There you can find a lot of faces, a lot of pretty objects and landscapes to work with. But when I do want to make original work or paintings, I try to train myself to work with what I have. I try my best to get ideas from my imagination. But then again, when we make art, we never make something fully from our own mind alone. Other people might say, oh my god, it's unoriginal to use references, but like, that's not how our brain works. We can't make something out of nothing, you know? But again, it's a different story when you copy an artwork and claim that it's yours. Don't do that. That's a big no-no. Mm -hmm. We always take things around us and make it our own. Inspiration from anything around us fuels our creativity. So yeah, in a sense, it's impossible to make an artwork fully from your imagination. That's very hard to do. <laughs> Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes, to me it's a sandwich. You're basically stuffing ingredients between bread like a sandwich. It's just that a hot dog is longer than all the other sandwiches out there. Gosh, normalize different sandwich shapes and sizes. Oh, that was like a tongue twister. What is the most useless talent you have? I can sleep with my eyes half open and I can actually sense that my eyes aren't fully closed when I'm asleep, but I still end up sleeping fine anyway. How do you stay so productive? I'm glued to my bed right now. I love your videos, by the way. Thank you so much! Okay, so it's funny because I actually don't think I'm super productive. Like, like, there's a lot of days where I just lie down and not do anything. And it's actually a struggle to be productive these days because it's summer vacation and the heat just tires me out and makes me want to stay in bed the whole day. And it's also hard for me to be productive when I don't feel inspired. It all really boils down to self-discipline, you know, trying to do things even if you don't feel like doing it. I try my best not to rely on motivation too much because it just fades away. I really try to develop that drive within me and remind myself that I can't achieve my goals if I just sit around all day scrolling through social media. For me to get into the flow of productivity, I have been developing simple habits like trying to wake up at least before 8 a.m., doing the laundry, cooking, and exercising. <laughs> I also developed a habit of journaling to evaluate myself and my work throughout the day. But yeah, being productive is such a struggle. But once we get things done, it feels so rewarding and satisfying. And that's actually a really good feeling. It's good for us. <laughs> it makes me happy. But it's so funny how it's so hard for me to do things that make me feel happy. Why am I like that? If you were an art medium, what would you be and why? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a really good answer but I'll probably just sound cheesy, so... <laughs> Maybe if I were an art medium, I'd be... watercolors? Because <laughs> watercolors are pretty hard to handle. It requires a lot of practice and a lot of patience to get it right. So yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be ending it here. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever I just did there. <laughs> Thank you guys for spending your time with me. Here's my finished product. Yeah, flash it, flash, 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 yeah. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. 
and see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.